how you know the Cosa Nostra in Sicily, the Indragada in Calabria, and then the Cosa Nostra in the U.S. You know, there's you know the three distinct organizations, and obviously the cartels operate distinctly as well. But one of the things I don't get, I want you guys' opinion. I'll ask Anthony first: is the Calabrians and the Sicilians went at least initially to the Colombians? They set up brokerage, uh, you know, at Alberto Panuzzi. There was the uh, uh, Contrera Caruanas. And they set up these organizations that bought directly from the uh, Colombians, and then they became big Coke dealers in Italy, especially the Calabrians, right? right? So why did the Calabrians go from being like farmers to now being $50 billion a year? Why the American cause in Austria almost like gave it away to the Mexicans? I, I just, I, I know, I know you said no dope, but I, I just can't wrap my head because it's not, it's not a moral issue because the Calabrians essentially have a similar character type as a Cosa Nostra in the U.S. And the Sicilian Cosa Nostra has even more of a close knit to the Cosa Nostra in the U.S. And they're big uh, uh, um, cocaine dealers in Italy. So right. why do you think the Italian mafia was one step ahead of the American mafia and became billionaires like the Colombians, like the Mexicans, while the American mafia kind of got shut out? I, would get, I can only speculate, but I'm going to be 95 fucking percent on yeah. this one. The Italian mob in Italy had more control on the government than the American mob had over here. You yeah. want to fuck with them, they're going to blow you up. They're going to blow yeah. up a building just like the Colombians did. Correct. Correct. They were scary. They were fucking, yeah. they were just as scary as the Colombian, as, as you know, Pablo. Like up. Judges, like, but not even like a judge, like two popular magistrates, like right. next to each other. Okay. Know? So now, as time goes on and shit changes, now over there, they've arrested a lot of people and, yeah. you know, they put them, they bring them to trial underground. Yeah. Where, you know, and they're bringing in witnesses yeah. to testify, which they never did before. Yeah. You know, so they really put a damper on their ass. Yeah. So, well, yeah. When you look at it today, it's not like it was when they first went in. You know, they had a they had a they had their hooks in the government. Well, that's why I always say, because if you look at the business model. Right. So I think, in my opinion, the cause in Austria in Sicily, although it's still very strong, is a shadow of the Calabrians. They're all related. They, they, they're like, they operate like the Kali cartel. They're business people. They only mm -hmm. work in one product. They don't diversify. They're, they're, they're like an inch wide, mile deep. They control like five continents, right? And they're business partners with the Colombians and, and the Mexicans. And they, they love them because they come with cash and they pay well and they pay on time. And you guys know in that game is a premium. So, so Carlos, what's your opinion on that? Why the Italians, talking Italian Italians, kind of had a one up over the American cause of in the drug trade. What's your what's your yeah, perspective it's on exactly that? Exactly what, what, what Tony says is it's the, the 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 management that they had in the government and yeah. the, the way that they controlled they controlled the streets and everything. It, it over, uh, it's like now in, in Mexico, I think um the the dealers, the, the the cartels and stuff handle the government. They put up the presidents, they put up the senators, they put up the 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 the, the, the mayors, the, the governors, they put them up. It was the same yeah. thing over there in um in um in Italy. Like uh, you asked me, like in the states, the 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 Italians wouldn't go directly to the Colombians. The Colombians, it was a trust issue. But yeah. if you would get an Italian in Italy, in yeah. in Sicily, they would trust them. Yeah, because yeah. of the control yeah. they had. They you yeah. know they wanted to go on a short on a short run. They were they weren't gonna be taking any any shady any any shady moves. You know, that's I think a, it's, it's, that's that's all it is. So it's a trust issue. That's a good point. Now, I, I was reading an interesting article that talked about how, you know, the drug trade, obviously, Colombia was, you know, many, uh, manufacturing, cultivation, and distro. But now the mm -hmm. Mexicans took it over, became powerhouses. But I heard that Colombians are happier than a pig and shit. They don't make as much money, but they just make it. Here you go and call it a day. They're in the, they're in the back scenes now. They and handle everything. Money. They handle everything. They're making even more money than before because now it's more volume than 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 anything. And okay, the the the, the Mexicans want all the attention. You can have it. Yeah, Colombians are more, but everything yeah. comes out of here. Interesting. You know what I mean? So so, so going going back to Florida, there was a the Cavacante crew that way, and I think you told the story about it. The Cavacante guy who screwed you, uh, Anthony, right? Well, it wasn't intentional. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He he introduced a an FBI FBI and, and a guy named speaking of fucking Italy Mario Adamo yeah this uh -huh. cocksucker Adamo uh -huh. he he, did he was a soldier he's a soldier with his calves right 
He could have been. I know Adamo checked out because he did 15 years in the state. In the state, yeah, the thing was the state. Well, he did he did his 15 fucking years. Yeah. And when I had to sit down with him, there was something about him. He was talking fast, like a. He was one of those guys that are real likable that could talk. He was a talker yeah. boy. Da, 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 always energetic. Yeah. But there was just something off about the guys he had with him. And I was like, I don't, you know. He goes, listen, check me out and, you know, get back to me. My name come back good. I called around. He fuck came back good. No one would yeah. ever thought. Yeah. This motherfucker did his 15 years, got deported to Italy. Mm-hmm. And when he hit Italy, he was a life sentence. He had a life sentence in Italy. Oh, shit. So when he gets over there, he kept his fucking mouth shut for the 15 years, knowing he had a life sentence in Italy. Yeah. He picked up the phone and said, listen, if you get me out of here, I'll, I'll take down this one. He got 300 people. Holy shit. 300. Yeah, money also, no? And, oh, well, not only did they get him out of the out of the out yeah. of prison in, in Italy, he's a paid informant. He's lived, he's got a fucking visa. He's a fucking American citizen. He was making a few hundred thousand a year driving around on a Porsche. Jesus Christ. I heard I heard of him. And then and then um, but you you were in, in Florida, you were on some like Joey Flower, like you were uh a few of the f- names at uh, Asituro, like you knew some like pretty heavy hitters. So give us like the maybe by family or by group who was down by you because you knew some pretty pretty serious people. Well, when I was little, you had you had Gaggy Gaggy. Uh, yeah, he was he was pretty big. Tony Plate. Yeah, He's, he was a he was a big one. And a lot yeah. of people don't talk about Tony Plate, and no one even heard about him until they say that's God. He's only killing by hand. Is that true? I don't know if it was by hand or how he did it. No we one knows, by God no or one knows yeah, yeah. how he whacked him because no one's ever found him. Oh, okay. No one's ever found him. My mom said the other day, because she's got a good memory. She goes, yep, I know what car he got. And he got into that car. He was with that guy, and he drove that way in front of that store. I was like, damn. All right. Well, shit. Because I was little. And, uh, you know, you got uh, you know, Chili, Joey Flowers, guy named Reynolds is on the – there's another. There's a few more guys that are still alive, so I can't say. Yeah, of course. And uh, Asaturo, Tumac, all yeah. these, all these guys are down here. Were you shocked when he flipped? Because in Jersey, we were like, we were, I was younger, Tumac. but we were shocked. Yeah. Tumac. What was his reason? Oh, his reason for flipping was, if I remember, they were gonna clip his. Castle was gonna kill. Yeah, his the castle was gonna kill all of them. Yeah, the castle was gonna take out the entire Jersey family. Like, right. they, they, the only reason they didn't. And this comes from the Casey made man who told me said they didn't have they didn't have enough anywhere to put the bodies. That's the only reason why. Right, but his reason for flipping I don't think it was because of